The Annunciation with St. Emidus was painted by Italian artist Carlo Crivelli in 1486. It hangs in the National Gallery in London. The painting depicts the Virgin Mary at the moment she realizes she will give birth to the Savior Jesus. A beam of light coming down from a circular cloud is interpreted by most mainstream art critics and historians to be the halo of the Lord projecting down to Mary the message of her immaculate conception, a moment known as the Annunciation. UFO enthusiasts, however, have interpreted the disc-shaped object to be representative of a UFO. Let's take a closer look at this object shown in the upper left portion of the painting. Here we clearly see a cloud hovering in the sky. Not your typical cloud, however. It is rather perfectly disc-shaped with some kind of energy beam shooting down from it. The image is reminiscent of something straight out of War of the Worlds or any number of sci-fi movies so much so that it is practically a cliché of Hollywood flying saucer attack. And yet, it was painted in 1486. UFO skeptics argue that closer scrutiny of the object reveals two rings of angels within the cloud, thus deferring to the orthodox interpretation of the painting. This may, in fact, be accurate if one does not have the privilege of viewing the painting in person, one can, with a higher resolution of the image, make out the shapes of angelic heads, wings, and halos. It is not completely obvious to the viewer, but what is unmistakable is that the object is, in fact, a cloud, and not, as ufologists would contend, a shiny metallic disc as we would normally associate with a UFO. On the other hand, one needs to take into account the context of the painting. Indeed, symbols of angels, clouds, and beams of light may be the artist's interpretation of a UFO set within the cultural framework of the times he lived. The lower right-hand portion of the painting offers as much intrigue and mystery as the upper portion. Here we see the beam of light which, descending from the disc above, penetrating through a solid stone wall and entering into the head of the Virgin Mary. This is, in fact, the Annunciation spoken of in the Bible. Some ufologists, however, give a nuanced interpretation of this biblical episode. Their belief is that Jesus was not divine in the religious sense, but that Jesus was, in fact, the result of genetic engineering. This gives us an entirely different understanding of the Immaculate Conception. According to alien enthusiasts, Mary was abducted by aliens and was artificially inseminated with this alien DNA into her womb. They point out that the beam of light that strikes Mary as she is indoors is consistent with many modern-day alien abductions. Many reports of alien abductions claim a beam of light shown from outside the buildings at the time of their abductions. Regarding the phenomenon of UFO-like depictions in religious art, noted UFO researcher Jacques Vallée stated, quote, the value of it scientifically is that now we can anchor the beginning of the UFO phenomenon into real documented history. One of my interests, as you know, has been to look at ancient sightings, uh, yes. old uh, sightings before World War II, for example, when there is really no confusion with modern technology. Mm -hmm. uh, and if people described, say, 1925 or in 1825, a, a disc flying through the air, um, then uh, you know it can only have been very, very few phenomena could have produced it. Uh, starting in 1896 mm -hmm. and going into the spring of 1897, there was a, a remarkable wave of sightings of airships 
Those were described as oval objects flying through the sky with lights on them. Uh, and of course, they, the people in those days could only compare it to dirigibles. Mm -hmm. uh, only compare them to airships, and uh, those objects were capable of doing all the things that UFOs do today, including taking off very quickly and making 90-degree turns and uh, landing and uh, occupants coming out of them. And if, if, any, if nothing else, uh, I think this is part of our folklore. This is something that we should be studying as part of our folklore.